Hey folks, my name is Big O and welcome to Techno Fodder. Techno Fodder is a fast-paced, high-energy podcast about podcasting. I cover podcasting news, I uh, review people's promos, and I give special tutorials. And tonight, I've got a special video tutorial that's dedicated to my friend Cliff Ravenscraft. You can find this tutorial and all of my other episodes and sh tech stuff at uh, technofodder.com. So, Cliff, over at uh, gspn.tv, discovered a bug in GarageBand. Apparently, GarageBand doesn't like to import MP3 files if the uh, MP3 starts with a capital letter. That's a pretty lame bug. I hope Apple fixes that. But in the meantime, we can use a really cool little tool called Automator that comes free with OS X. This tutorial, I'm going to focus specifically to what Cliff was looking for, but it's an easy enough tool that you can easily change it and apply it to what you need to do with it. So, what we need to do is get take some MP3 files and rename them to lowercase. So, first thing I've done here is created a file on my desktop, just untitled folder, and inside that folder I plop some uh, dummy MP3 files. You can see they have a capital U in the name and a capital M in the file extension. So let's go over to Automator. You have the Automator application, a library and action window, and over here you have the workflow screen and a little thing down here that uh, gives you a description of what you're looking at. So first, the library pane, you have a pull down menu for applications. Now this lists all the applications that, uh, that Automator knows about that it is able to script. So the one that we're working with tonight is the Finder. So we're going to choose that and your action menu changes to give a list of all the scriptable actions that Automator can work with for the finder. So the first thing we want to do is we're going to have our little application that we're making ask us, prompt us for which uh, folder uh, has the mp3s that we want to rename. So the first step we want to do is ask for finder items. So you just grab that guy and drag it into your workflow. And it creates an item, and uh, all the items are uh, listed in steps that they run. So this is step one, ask for finder items. We want the file type to be folders. So we're just going to have it ask for the folder where the files are located, and it'll convert any uh, MP3s that it finds there. Um, where do we want it to start? Well, the desktop's a good place as any. And let's change this to be more descriptive. So choose a folder with MP3s. And that's that. So the next step uh, is we don't want to work with the folder itself. We want to work with the files in the folder. So we need to look for a, uh, a finder item that will grab the contents of the folder. So that's this one here, get folder contents. Grab that, drag it over. So you can see that we now have a step two. And uh, over here is an important little uh, symbol. This shows you a little thing coming down from step one and kind of poking into step two. So this tells you that the contents, the things that step one was working for, are getting passed through or piped into step number two. So step number two is going to be working with the whatever's left over, whatever came from that first one. So now that we've got the folder contents, we want to filter it so that we're only getting MP3s. So let's get filter finder items, drag that in, and that'll be step number three. And again, it's piped in. So we want uh, to, to filter it for just things that have a file extension equal to MP3. And I've tested this and, um, and shown that uh, this is not case sensitive. If you put MP3, it'll get upper and lower case or mixed case. So this will meet all of our needs right here. So now that we've filtered it, the only thing left to do is rename them. So let's go in here and get the action rename finder items. Drag that in for step number four. Now, an interesting thing happens here. You get a little pop-up. Um, and this is one of those things where it's trying to warn you, warn you and keep you from doing uh, something damaging to your system. It's basically asking if you want, because, hey, you're renaming uh, files. Do you, want me, do you want me to make a backup of those files before you rename them? So, you know, not a bad idea, but in this case, we're not going to do that. So we'll say don't add, um, meaning don't, don't add the, uh, the copy, the file backup. So it added step four. 
and you can see that's the output of the filter is uh, piped into step four here it defaults to add date or time we don't want to do that we want to change the case so you just change that and the default is what we want lowercase so it's going to take um, the output of the filter rename it to lowercase and it's very important in this circumstance that we check the include extension name otherwise the mp dot mp3 wouldn't be changed just the uh, first part of the file name so a quick review of here of what's going on first the application is going to ask us which uh, folder we want it to work with then we have this item that that specifies the files inside of the folder to work with filters out files so that we only have the mb3s and then it renames all of them to be lowercase so now that we've got this little script created there's a number of things that we can do with it and the first thing that we're going to do is save it as an application so this will work just like any app that you would download off the internet or whatever um, uh, it'll be a file that you click on and uh, and run so we say go to file save as and uh, change the file format to application if it's not already uh, if it's set to workflow a workflow is what we're looking at here and so if you save it as a workflow that's something that you would you would uh, work with it through automator so you would open up automator open up that workflow and hit run to run it but uh, so in this case we're going to save it as an application um, and it's got a default name here of rename mp3s with some numbers there, I'm going to take that off so it just says that. Where does it want to save it? Uh, that's the temp folder I made that's good place as any, so hit save. So now we go back to the uh, folder that I made, and here's a little app called Rename MP3s and with my other files. And uh, so I'm going to drag that back out here onto the desktop beside, right beside the folder. And let's run it and see what happens. So the first thing you see is up at the top, you you'll see this little spinning thing in the stop that's just uh, an indication to you that the automator framework is running a script so we get this little pop-up here that says and this it corresponds exactly what we typed in to to that particular step choose a folder with mp3s and it's defaulting to the desktop I scroll down find the folder that I made and you can see there's all the files um, that I had created they're ghosted out because you, you were not selecting files we're just selecting a parent folder so now that we've got that selected, we say choose, and as soon as I click this, uh, it's going to start renaming. So click that, scroll over, and here we go. Whoop, see that? It's done. Lowercase U's, lowercase M's, everything is fine. So that worked pretty slick. So now we've got this little app. Yeah, I can I could put that in my applications folder or save it wherever I wanted. But there's an even better way to uh, to use this application. And this is called a plugin. So we're actually going to make a plugin for the Finder, and this is pretty slick. So we go back to our Automator script, and uh, we're not going to ask um, for. We don't want it to prompt us for the uh, the Finder items. Um, that will be taken care of by the context of the plugin, and you'll see what I mean in a minute. So we're going to delete this step and so it's going to just start with get folder contents and the reason that this is uh, the reason why you can start with this is because it's going to default to the folder that you're um, looking at in finder and this will be very obvious after I do this so let's say save as plugin and it's going to ask you what type what application do you want to make a plugin for and we definitely want it to be a finder so <coughs> The name that you type in here is important. This is what's going to show up in the context menu. So we're going to say rename mp3s and hit save. So now if I go back to my untitled folder, I uh, right click or if you don't have a two button mouse, you know, uh, you command click. And in the context menu that comes up, there's a thing for automator. And you go over here, look at that, rename mp3s. And when I click this, it's going to perform that action on this folder that I'm in. So thanks so much for listening. And again, check out all of my podcasts at technofodder.com.